Hi. One second, I'm putting a hoodie on because I'm cold. <laughs> and then I also have to turn the iPad on and plug it in. Let's hit that button and then give me one second. Hi everyone. Sorry, I was helping a friend with a thing. And I had the iPad not connected because I took it to Alex and Haley's last week. So I need to put the charging cable on. I have to sneak in here. I don't have my apron on. <laughs> this is another window. You suddenly talking did me a spook. I'm sorry. Oh. There we go. There's that. Now I have iPad. Plug everything up. How's everyone tonight? I'm doing great. <laughs> Things are great. I've had a good day. I'm slightly cold. I didn't click on the right window. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. There we go. Now I'm set. I went biking today. I went 15 miles. It was great. I had a great time. Where are my photos? There are my photos. Ooh, I have to charge my headset. All photos. Seb says, I'm doing wonderful. Renee says, 15 miles, you go girl. And Chaz says, bike go far. I saw Chaz today. Chaz was on a run and I was on my way back. I waved at him and I thought maybe he doesn't recognize me because it was kind of dark where that part was. <laughs> Did he have donuts? Not for every run. That's too many donuts. Circle Now Squared says, Chaz also go far. He did go far. <laughs> Chaz says, I did recognize you. Good. I was excited to see you on the, on the trail. Oh. <sighs> I had just finished a climb because there was an incline in the way I was going and I was very tired. <laughs> I did recognize not donuts. Yeah, I didn't see any donuts when I passed you. We are working on more leaves today. Steven asked me today, how long do you think this will take you? And I said, I really don't know that. There are too many leaves. But um, I'm really happy with how it's looking. Um, we're gonna move into more greens today, probably tapping in a little bit of them and then work on some of these like whole leaf shapes because there's a lot of them. So <laughs> Sapphire Becca says, oops, all leaves. That's kind of all I have left is oops, all leaves. Maybe some more branches. But um, like I said, I was helping a friend with something. They were trying to book a thing and um, I didn't quite have all the time I needed to get things set up, which included cleaning off my table here. Socially Awkward says, my husband got me a bike last year. Now that we're in a new area, we have to explore and find trails to bike on. I kind of want to get a thing for the car so I can drive and go other places, but um, I'm working on cardio and stuff right now, so I don't really need that yet. Uh, Autumnal says, I'm here, I'm late, but I'm here. I haven't started painting yet. I was a little late too. I had stuff to do. And now I'm like trying to clean this up because I don't know where I was and what I was doing. So I still have some of the red saved from last week, which is good because there's some red here and I didn't put that in. Maybe I'll do that later. 
So hopefully this paint will still be workable when I finally get to that. Maybe that'll be today. Maybe I'll paint some more green today. And then I'll be like, ooh, time for the rest of this red. We have a seven month resub from Barbarian Rex. 11 months from Las Vagabond. 10 months from Seemingly Jess. 11 months from the YOLP. 11 months from Midi Night. 11 months also from Boop Snoot. A subscription from Konosuka, welcome. Can't believe people are hitting 11, oh my gosh. Um, 11 months from Dragon Girl. 10 months from Sherlock. Four months from Eliasan. 10 months from Gaxtronaut. And 10 months from Tessa Jane. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Storm says nearly two year. I can't believe that. That's incredible that it's been a year. So I grabbed my other palette. This is the one with the green on it. So this is the lightest green we've done and there's just a little bit of it and it's still wet, which is wild because it's been like two weeks. So we're going to take that and we are going to make a lighter green and do a little bit of tapping on lighter green. And then unfortunately I have to do more um, individually painting of leaves and I'm really not looking forward to that. I'll do it, but I'm not thrilled about it. But I have to clean off my palette first because everything that is not that green is totally dried out besides this one blue color. <sighs> Sapphire Becca says March, right? I think so. Pretty sure. Oh, there's a little bit of gray that's wet. Come here. I have to save this gray and put it on this. Honestly, I should probably just put the blue there too because I don't really have any use for this. And then I can have a cleaner palette with more space. We have 11 months from Sacro Celica and 10 months from Dual Braids. Thank you. Okay. Now we're ready to actually mix color and like start. The other thing about doing lighter green today in both um, tapping and, oh no, don't get on my nice blue shirt. And in addition to painting individual leaves, um, is that I can do a little bit with the tapping, which is what I was doing here, and um, wash the brush tonight, and the next time I stream, the brush will be dry. And I can use it again for more tapping. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Luna Gazer gifted a sub to gaming fan. Thank you for the gift sub. All right, cleaning off palette. I also ran to Home Depot today to get key copies made. And the guy was like, how's the weather outside? And I was like, it's slightly chilly, but I just went for a bike ride and I'm cold. <laughs> and I got keys made. We also had to get light bulbs because one of our kitchen lights is sometimes working and sometimes not. And sometimes it works for a little bit and then um, goes out or it doesn't and then it comes back on. Umbology says, what is chilly for North Carolina? Cause 35 in Chicago. Um, I don't know, I would say 40 is chilly here, but um, I don't know, I was cold. When I stopped on my bike ride halfway before I turned around, um, I was cold. And it was like 55. So like, when I think of 55, I don't think that's cold. I was just cold. We have 11 month resub from Light Rock. Thank you. I was talking to my mom on my bike ride today and she said that it's been pretty warm there. She said it was about 55 up near Green Bay. And she's like, I might sit outside. And I was like, that's very strange for February. I 
I was also very amused by Siri reading me my alerts on my phone while I was driving. Circle now squared said, what in Milwaukee was 35? I mean, I told her it was 55 here. Maybe she misheard me and thought I said 35. I didn't like verify that she was telling me the truth. I'm just going at her word. And I remember saying, that's pretty warm for you this time of year. And she's like, yeah, it's February. <laughs> she has her own little ozone bubble, maybe. <laughs> no, it says you're actually being gaslit. She did text me a photo after we were on the phone and said, your coat is going to a better place. And then she sent me a picture of said coat. And I thought that was a little wild of a statement for her to say. She means she's donating it, but like... <laughs> did you know Siri will tell you what photo someone texts you sometimes? Because it told me that she sent me a photo of a jacket. And I was like, oh, that's neat that it tells me what she sent me so I don't have to like stop and look at it. And then I told Noah to send me a photo and it just said, Noah sent you a photo. And I was like, oh, dang it, that's sad. Cause Noah had a picture of a mouse and I'm like, send me a photo of the mouse. Tell me if it, <laughs> I'll tell you if it says a photo of a mouse or not. We have a 10 month resub from Darkness Bride, also 10 months from Aldo and 10 months from Brina uh, BX. Thank you all. Siri was also not happy when I was uh, saying out loud, like, hey, text this person. Oh, Siri's going off now. Thank you. Stop that. It didn't work every time and I was mad. <laughs> Sapphire Becca says, Siri be like, this is a rat. No, she didn't even say that. She's just like, Noah sent you a photo. I was like, that's not what I wanted you to do. <sighs> Renee says, now I need to send you a new uh, Gwynny and Jack pick of the kittens. When you send me a message, Renee, it says, um, it says your name very, very wrong. It says, uh, how does it say it? It's like Renee. I can't think now. But I was very amused by that too. We have a seven month resub from Kita Loves SM. Thank you. All right, we're mixing up a lighter green color. So we have titanium white. We need cyan. And then we will need yellow. And maybe a little bit of red to tone down the screen. Did I use up all that red last week? I feel like I did. So I need to find more. I have more. It just may not be in easy reach. It may be over there where I have all my extras. Pyrol, Cad, Alizarin. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> Let's go find Red. Stephen has Kepler, so Stephen will not get up and get me anything today. There's red. Fire Goddess says, how is babysitting Laika? Laika was great. She's a good girl. I enjoy hanging out with her. She just basically wants to sit on the couch next to you. So 
she's easy to take care of. <laughs> so Rebecca says, I hope you don't get thirsty. I brought water today. I have a little bit of this, which was from last week. And then I have my whole water bottle from the bike ride that I didn't drink on the ride. All right, so this was our green and I have a little bit on the palette still so I can judge it against the old one. And like, this is not super saturated, like some of these greens in here. So like, this is way, way not where I need it to be. So we're gonna get it closer to like the right family of green. And then we're gonna darken it up with some of our red. I suppose I could grab my sketchbook and do the testing I've been doing. We have a six months uh, resub from LV Technician. Thank you. You hit half a year. All right, testing, paper. I'm gonna get somewhat close to the green before I test it because right now it's quite yellow. And we're moving towards yellow green, but um, this is way too yellow green. This is like spring green crayon. Okay. See how green that is? It's very green. So we're gonna add some red. Welcome, Stefania. So it's finally making it to a mouse stream. Painting looks beautiful. Thank you. We have been working at it. There is a lot of leaves. <laughs> there are more leaves to paint. Uh, this is not in the right green family. Because, like, I'm toning it down. And that's the correct call here. But it's... It needs to be more yellow. I put too much blue in. <laughs> XD Symphony says, that's like the greenest green that has ever greened. Look at it. It's like just super green, the most green. And like, it's in the similar color family to this at this point, cause I've darkened it. But I think I need more yellow. And because yellow, um, I don't know, it doesn't, because it's a lighter color than blue, it takes a lot more of it to skew it towards where I want. The other problem is it's, like I said, it's a lighter color than blue, so it makes this a lot lighter than I had been working towards. I've been working at making it darker. So now we have to tone this intensity down. Still not happy with it. So I need to go a little bit more towards red violet and toning down this intensity. Tarantula says, um, I was catching up on the painting with the VODs. Photo is breathtaking on its own and the fact you're painting it is amazing. Well, thank you. I can only take credit for so much of it. 
I can really only take credit for the painting part. <laughs> We have a 10 month resub from Dragon Lee, 10 months from Lunar Pearl, 10 months from Safe Frog, and nine months from Cabri. Thank you. <laughs> Just by the rights. I got permission, Vagabond. I was like, hey, can I do this? And Brandon was like, yeah. Alright, so because I want slightly more yellow with this, I need to go slightly into more of a red-violet situation to tone the intensity down. So like, I can just add red and blue into this, but I can make a red-violet. Because it's a pretty color. Look at that. Beautiful. Probably could use more red because it is more of a green. Oops, and it says, um, IMO, the fact you recreate the photo via painting is amazing. I mean, I'm taking some liberties um, because I can't sit there and count leaves. I just don't have it in me to one for one this. There's way too many leaves. So I'm just bringing the vibe to the canvas, really. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Mooses, I took a few liberties. Exactly. It's important to take a few liberties in painting. There was someone I knew in college who was in my drawing three class with me. She um, did like exclusively charcoal drawings of um, reflections. So like one of the things she painted was um, a Christmas ornament, like one of the round ones, but it was like pure silver, like reflective. And like, it was just, perfect. Like all the little reflections, anything that had reflections, like a chrome car bumper, that's what she painted and or drew in charcoal and she was amazing. Okay, we're getting there. It's less intense, that's what we want. But it's definitely not as yellow as I need. Where's my little paper? Yeah, it is not dark enough yet, so we're gonna Lower the intensity and go a little more yellow with this. <laughs> no, this should have done it in pointillism. Did we want this painting to take forever? Because I could be working on this into May if I did pointillism. I already have to paint leaves. Like, look at this. <laughs> Ooh, I did pretty good on this green. Ooh, I'm happy with this. Let's test this. There we go. It's a very muted, like, army green. <laughs> Renee says, we're doing leafalism. It's like pointillism, but leaves. We have an 11 month reset from Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. He says, oh man, the colors are coming together. Very cool. Did you not see it when you were here last week? Did I not send you up here to look at it? I thought I did. I mean, you can look at it next time. <laughs> it will be here. There are too many leaves to paint. Okay, covered up all the other paints so they don't dry out, and I just have this green left. So, like we did before, I'm gonna start with this brush, and we're gonna tap in some green. And then we will switch to a small brush, and then paint a million leaves.
All right, so a lot of this is gonna get covered by these individual leaves, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't like add in some highlights here and there because it will help me later. And what I'm trying to do is like, I'm looking at where I have the lighter colors from the last time I did tapping in and I'm just adding some of this lighter green on top of that. I'm also looking where there's a little bit of lighter areas. We have a six month resub from Zotto, thank you. So a lot of this is going to have a lot of leaves, but there's a lot of lighter parts that get brought into it. Over here, like this part. And like this tree, I will not lighten up anymore because it's a pine and I want to keep that a little bit darker. And I think I might rotate this. So I can see this tree better. Cause like this guy gets a lot of this lighter color.
and it sits behind this red one, so I probably should have done a little bit of this beforehand, but I didn't. So now I pay for that by being <laughs> ultra careful where I'm tapping. I'm still not fond of the transition between this yet. I think I just need to bring more carbon black into this. I think that's what I need to do. But otherwise I'm happy with all of this in here. Even just like rotating it and looking at it. I think I'm gonna bring in some of these tree trunks to sit in front of this later. But that's a problem for later to work on and make look better. So I think I am done with tapping, unfortunately. I know that is the best part. Is this the really big one? This is the really big one. I was thinking about working on this offline, but then I decided not to. And here it is. It is a large canvas. It is two foot by two and a half, 24 by 30 ish. And I need to clean this brush out because I'm going to be painting for a bit yet and I don't want to ruin it. We will wash that later, but it is clean enough. Um, the other thing I wanna do while I have it rotated here is I will tap a little bit, but not with that brush, just because I'm still not happy with how this transitions. So we're gonna tap some more carbon black in in places. And then I'll switch to a small brush and paint some leaves. That lighter green did do a lot though, I will say. because it made it feel like you can see things now. One of my problems with this part right here is I brought all of these tree branch lines down for the trunks and um, you can see them. I want them to fade. So by adding in more of this carbon black here, it will do that. Oh, wait, that's wet. Don't do that. I'm also not super fond of how much blue I can see right here. And I have thoughts about that because this part is actually more orange than I had been painting it. So I have thoughts about um, filling in black there, not by tapping. XD Symphony says, you can see more than just random red tree. Yep, that lighter green helped a lot. And they're starting to make like shapes. Like you can see the pine here versus like the leaf tree here. And like this tree is different and this is a different pine. And then this one is more of a long leaf pine. So to make myself happy, I think I'm gonna work on filling in some of this blue 
Probably with tiny brush, not ultra tiny brush. That would take too long. But I think I'm just going to like, maybe I shouldn't have used this one. And like you would see some sky, like I'm leaving this blue, but all of this here, I don't really want. And I'm going to be adding more oranges. So anywhere that I'm unhappy with how much black paint I've put, I'm just going to put orange there. And I'm kind of just scrubbing it. Like I'm not really painting anything. So I'm setting the brush down and I'm just kind of like doing this, like scribbling in a way. And there is some black there in the photo. So I'm not super heartbroken about this. It helps a lot. We have 300 bits from Trichianthia who says, Mousestream, haven't caught one in a bit because of work, so I took some time off to clean this week. Of course, I'm also catching a cold. Oops. And the magical color wizard picked kind of a purpley gray color, which is really pretty. It's like a periwinkle. I'm sorry you're catching a cold. That sucks. Sometimes, like, I feel colds are terrible because you're, like, not sick enough but you're like definitely sick. They feel inconvenient, I guess is the best word. <laughs> Sci-fi bracket, cold equals periwinkle. I guess so. Um, today I went on a 15 mile bike ride and I thought I should keep doing that this week because I did good today. I should keep doing that all week. So I decided to challenge basically all of my friends to a fitness competition. And now I'm getting a bunch of text messages for them accepting it. Cause I just got one from Thomas. This helps a lot, oh my God. Like, do you see right here where I've been working on it compared to here? As Rebecca says, I know Thomas accepted. He can never refuse. He did just challenge me the other day and he won. So maybe this is the time I win. And we're supposed to have some nice weather so it's the time. I just got another one, didn't I? Noah. Yep, I challenged Noah. Yeah, I like this way better. I'm really glad, okay. an 11 month reset from Fossix. Thank you, Fossix. So let's see what happened. Um, if you saw Steven's Instagram, you know that Chaz and Jeff did the um, Krispy Kreme challenge in Raleigh, which was super cool. And then yesterday, Chaz, Brandon, Steven and I went and saw the Barber of Seville opera. And that was the first time any of us had seen opera, but um, 
It was really good. I really enjoyed it. And then we went out and had um, Lebanese. Because there's a place in Raleigh um, that has Lebanese food. So I had like a variety plate and it had like chicken shawarma and baba ganoush. And I'm still thinking about that because I wish I could have that again for dinner tonight. We have a Naima 3 sub from K Kreenian. Thank you. <laughs> Gaming fan says, Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. And Slicktook says, I can only think of Bugs Bunny. Yeah. I mean, that's how it started for me. I knew like the basic plot of Barbara Seville because I wanted to know what was happening beforehand. And um, I mean, they had super titles. So it was like projected titles um, above the performers. So that was helpful to know exactly what was being said, because it was in Italian. And I do not know much Italian at all. I mean, I took French and German, so I know some European words that you kind of just kind of pick up some sometimes. But I definitely wouldn't have really known what was going on otherwise. Socially Awkward says, I don't think I could eat that many donuts. I mean, I struggle to eat like two. So like a dozen sounds ridiculous to me. Oh yeah, I'm not used to hearing lyrics. <laughs> we have a three month reset from Mr. Dr. Max. Thank you. Thanks for the heads up. So I have to make a decision because right here is where I should start to see blue. So I need to know how much I need to leave. But this was the right decision and I'm very happy I did this. It made it way better. There is still some blue poking through, but not in a way that bothers me anymore. Maybe a little bit. Especially right in here. Okay, I think I can move on finally and leave all of that alone. I do need plastic wrap. I feel like this painting has been nothing but where is all of my plastic wrap gone? Oh, we're talking about donuts. I didn't even get any donuts that day. I did have a piece of banana bread because there was a coffee shop near the finish line and I had a piece of banana bread. Cause like you ran half the 5K and ate them and then you ran the other half back. So like the donuts weren't anywhere near me. In fact, they were as far as they could, far away as they could be from me. So I didn't get any, that's fine. Cause then we went and had brunch. 
We have a four-month resub from LB. Thank you. Vagabond says, speaking of banana bread, I have some bananas I need to do something with. There's like six of them and they're all like perfect for baking. But I have to make Super Bowl food. Sonic says, hello from New Hampshire. Thank you. Hello. I th oh, that was like two weeks ago. I was going to say it's cold there, but I think that was two weeks ago when my aunt was saying it was cold up there. Sacro Silica's I have donuts and Costco banana bread. How is the Costco banana bread? I've heard mixed opinions on it, but I have not tried it yet. Have teams been decided for Steven and Alex? Not that I know of. They have not called. They normally do it on the day of. Well, I finished this water bottle from last week. Nutty and cake, like, huh. That doesn't seem very banana bread. That seems more banana cake. We have a five month resub from Charlotte Dante and 10 months from Nat Common. Thank you both. Would I consider making meringues for a cooking stream? Oh, I've never made meringues. <laughs> Penguin Frog, Steven is a known Swifty. He'll probably be rooting for the Chiefs. Do you really think he knows that that's the team that her boyfriend is in? <laughs> All right, um, let's erase this chalk. And then the part I've been dreading, painting single leaves. Meringues are easier than I thought. Good to know. Uh, I also have some chalk out here. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> oh, what brush do I want to use? How big are these leaves? They vary in size. Vegabon says, I mean, if he's opened the sports channel at all during a Chiefs game, he'd know. Ah, but he hasn't. You know he hasn't. Come here, paintbrushes. What do I want to use? So I'm thinking, there's a lot of single leaves right here that are very dark, right up here. And I feel like I should start with black here and do some there. And maybe do a little bit more work in some of these areas with single leaves. And then move into my medium green, which is here. And then my light green, which is here. And then eventually we'll move into like a lighter green even, and then into yellow and browns. See, this is why I was dreading this part, because I was like, there's just so many leaves. But I think these individual leaves really are what's going to make this stand out, because this part I really like. And like, this part looks good, and they look good like trees, but I don't think it looks as good. So I'm pulling these two rounds. Oh wait, you're the same brush. You're just more afraid. Okay. We'll pick the newer, nicer one. We have 250 bits from Chill, thank you. And we are gonna rotate this. Yeah. Big canvas. I think it looks strange this direction. I was fine with it 180 from here. And like, I still think this is bottom for canvas, I think. But I think this way looks weird. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, There's 
a lot of individual leaves in here. And it's this area, which I did tap in some stuff. So there's not a whole lot that can be done to fix that, except repainting the blue, which is not happening. So I'm just going to tap in some more individual leaves. Maybe throw some more tree branches into this area. It will help. Chill says, I've been watching you guys for 14. Thank you. Glad you could join us tonight. Penguin Frog says, I feel like the direction opinions might change when you finish the trees because it would be more balanced. Yeah, there's a lot over here that really needs to be filled in. Like, look at all these leaves, all of this yellow grouping here. None of that is here yet. 10 month resub from JF Samella. Thank you. Like I said earlier, Stephen was like, how long do you think this will take you? And I was like, I have no idea. There's just too many leaves. Ask again later. So I am like slightly tapping these in and slightly painting them individual because I want them to be a little bit more random. So tapping helps, but it's like individual tapping, not brush fill in whole space and two taps tapping. <laughs> Leaves took a ball of calculation space. I never know how long a painting is going to take. It just takes time and I just do it. And right now this looks really weird to me and um, adding in branches will help. add a little bit of detail up here too. Because this is just lightly tapped with the bristle brush. So if I just kind of fill in some of that, it looks slightly more complete in my opinion. Happy with that. Uh, branches. <laughs> Renee says, it's done when your heart feels like it's done. Yeah. It's more of like a gut instinct. How long does it take? I don't know. Is there a whole tree I missed? No, that's this guy. Okay, but there's another guy next to it that I didn't draw in. See, I don't like that noise. I think it's terrible. Put 
tap noise is much better of a noise. There's a lot of tree branches in this area. So I feel like doing too many now. It's gonna kind of be a back and forth. Some leaves, some branches. We have a 10 month resub from Shiny Hunter John. Thank you. Congrats on hitting 10. All right. Uh, I need to do some more leaves in this color, but not in this area. Time to move big canvas over. So just a few in here, some places. I think it would be nice just to fill in. I think this helps a lot. Just adding a few of these little guys in here. Cause it makes them feel more like individual leaves and less like random tapping. Even though that's still what it is, it's just, they're a little more defined. And I think that's important for this painting. That it looks more like that.
That's just about where the balance point is for it to stay on the, <laughs> the easel. And some of this is just finding the biggest blob of the other brush tapping in and then just tapping on top of it to make it slightly more round. We have a 10 month resub from Wonder J. Thank you. It's this nice painting. Well, thank you for that. It's taken its time, but I think it's coming along. We're getting somewhere where I'm starting to be happy with it and less anxious about will I mess it up, which is a frequent occurrence of will I, not that I mess up paintings, but that I worry about that. There's really been one I feel like where I've really had to restart on it and been upset about that fact. I don't think I should have added green to this tree. This one isn't green. It's more like this one, but all the leaves kind of cascade down. And I tapped green on it because I guess I wasn't thinking. And I don't know if I like working on this destruction. Because it's hard to know that they're falling this way. That feels better. Okay. 
Any chance of getting Jeff or Jepson on for a cooking stream? I want to. Um, I would like to finish this painting before I do anything cooking for a little bit because it's taking a while to get leaves in and I want to get them done. And then maybe in between this and maybe another painting I would do some cooking. And I know neither of them have been on yet for cooking streams, so. There's a little bit of like a how long that will be, but also like when is good for them if they want to. I know Josh does. All right. Now that I've finished up all of like the old stuff I wanted to work on, <laughs> time to work on new stuff. Pulled out this brush and this brush. You know, I probably want a bigger brush at some point. So I'll probably get a bigger round. But for now, we'll do some of this. And where do I feel like starting? I should make something tomato-y with Josh. That's kind of what I had wanted to do. Oh, I should draw some of this. Chalk pastel. Um, you sit kind of here and here. And you go out this way. So there's leaves there. This could probably come out this way a little bit further. And then they kind of connect here and sit on top of this guy. But we're doing green, so green doesn't quite go all the way out there. Good amount of space to fill in. It's kind of a lot. One man draws his big brush to complement big canvas. Yeah, I mean, I have larger rounds, but um, this one's a too soft. I have bigger ones that are not soft, like this guy. This is one of Stephen's college brushes, I think. So like this will work for some of these larger leaves, but there's also some tiny leaves that I need to fill in first. So we're just tapping these in. And they're tapped in just like everything else. It's just they're random. And the goal is to have like dots of paint that are not the same. And if I get some lines like I am, that's okay. we're trying to build this up and I'm going to be building it up with different greens, different brush sizes. And I'm kind of not liking this transition right now. That's okay. I can go back to darker greens and black. Once I get like this chalk part that I've drawn in, 
I could probably switch to the bigger brush and do a little bit of that. Instead of moving on to like up here, we'll have some of this. Here we'll have some of this. And then here we'll have some of this. It's going to be rotated all the way around and through. So I'm debating if I want to finish this one area or if I want to keep building so it looks similar all the way through, which is probably the smart and correct move. And very similarly to how I did not fill in the blue that was here, probably should have done that here. So we're going to compensate by putting a lot of this color here because it's going to get filled in with other stuff. This tree, we got that. This can stay. This should probably go away. And that star should probably go away too. Cause like, I'm fine with some of them peeking through here, but when they're at an awkward spot where it's like, is that something messed up or was that on purpose? I don't like that. I can always add in like a tiny star here later if I want to. So whenever they start to get in the way and look strange, they go away. And now I'm just filling in areas that it needs to be like slightly brighter. Cause some of these will kind of form larger blobs of leaves.
This is actually doing exactly what I want. Sometimes I just start to make things up and I'm happy with how they turn out, which is what's happening here. Like, I know it's not done, but it's doing what I want and what I'm expecting it to do. So now we can move on to this tree. And we get this in here. And we get kind of like a string of leaves this way. And like this does its thing over here. Palette's drying out. Let's fix that. So this is something similar where I'm taking the tapped in color and I'm trying to make it look more like individual leaves. I kind of feel like I should have had some of the darker green in this area in particular, but I can tap a few ones still.
I think I need to switch to larger round for some of this. Because these guys are a bit larger throughout here. That needed fixing. And I'm also gonna add some of the darker green in here because I had only done black. Time to rotate again. And back to the light green. Now 
Now this guy down here, I probably should have done a little bit of this down here, but that's okay. I can do that now. I did do a little on this tree, but not this one. Welcome in, MCL Blue. Now, one of the things I've pointed out, I think, is like in this area, there's a lot more orange. So I feel like I should bring in some of this green I have into that area. Maybe just a little bit so it kind of harmonizes a little bit more. And I can get rid of some of this black paint I filled in earlier, which was hiding the blue paint I filled in earlier. Because this lightness kind of comes down into this area. That helps. That helps a lot, actually. Good. Where are we? Here. Now, all of this area gets some individual leaves. This kind of stretches out here. Basically all of that. All of this needs to get done. this area, maybe not so far to the edge of the canvas. And this should have probably been left a bit darker. It didn't, that's fine. I can always darken that later. So basically all of this becomes individual leaves. This stays dark. Thank you, Goodway Game. Do I plan on making Monday my regular time going forward? If so, I'm setting an alarm. So I was enjoying Tuesday nights because then I had Monday with nothing, but then um, doing three stream days on three streams on Tuesday was a lot. 
So also we were having like, I knew Tom was coming and I was like, well, if I stream Monday when Tom gets in, then I don't have to do anything Tuesday night when Tom is here. So it was making a little bit more sense to do Monday. Also this Tuesday is disc only, Fossick says. Yeah, that's true. And January was very busy. We had four different people visiting. So um, I was trying to just move things around as I could. February is not as busy. Um, so that will be easier on me. All right, I decided I want to darken this part up. Because it's supposed to be dark. I'm just scrubbing in carbon black. And you can really hear that I am scrubbing it because I want it to be super dark here where this light stuff is going to go and then fade this way. lighter paints, lighter green. And I'm starting back here. So like I said, all of this in here is individual leaves. So I'm just going to tap on top of what I've already done to make it look slightly more individual leaves catching the light, the moonlight. And again, there's a star right here that just needs to go away because it looks strange. branch is this? Nothing? Okay, we're gonna cover that up with some leaves because it looks strange. We have a 10 month resub from Kit Khalid. Thank you. <laughs> Says it's getting so close to a year. I know. It's wild. I can't believe it either. All we're doing is tapping in leaves. So we're trying to give more of an impression of individual leaves in different places. So I'm starting with this like army green color and filling in some of that, like I'm working right here right now. And then we'll move on to lighter colors because we need to get into lighter greens and then into yellows. And then maybe just a little bit of brown in some areas, maybe a little bit of orange. Haley says colors. It's making a difference. Oh, 
Oh, that's why this is familiar. What goes here? This guy is basically nothing. This one just gets a few leaves here and there because there's not many on this guy. Hey, Steven. Oh, wow. Isn't it making a difference? Yeah, the red leaves are very good. Yes, I know. They're done. I love it. <laughs> I love it when you when I say something is good and you say you know. Uh huh. Um, like that confidence is is good. Well, you picked out the one thing that I'm happy with, and that is like done. So, does that make sense? Yeah, it's it's interesting because like when when the piece was relatively silhouetted, like when it was just the green. Yes. Um, like the dark green, like that, it, it could have been done, right? Like if that mm -hmm. was the vision. It I mean, I could have done. kept tapping in like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like once you go past that, then it's it's obvious that the piece isn't done. So now, so now. Oh I'm, yeah, this is going to be a ton of layering. Yeah. That's why when you asked me earlier if how long it would be till I was done and I didn't have a good answer, it was because um, I knew this was coming. Yeah, I, I had been relatively under the assumption that you probably only had a few more sessions with it. And like, that could maybe still be true, but also... I mean, every color I do, every lighter color I do, there's less and less of it. Yeah. So, I mean, in a way it's true, but um... It's also not. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is looking really good so far. Thank you. It's very, very good. Because right now I'm turning all of this tapping into individual leaves. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for um, things to render. I, f I finished exporting or well it's actively exporting ex uh, exporting the patreon video mm -hmm. so while that's going i'm gonna do some exercise because it takes a little bit okay did you get my ring competition what didn't i did i send a competition thing to you uh could have swore i shot one to basically everyone you didn't send one to me oh well i changed that right to a second what do you, what, why do you want to compete with me i'm competing with everyone where are you? Steering. Compete. But, okay. Let's see, Chaz accepted. But you get on, you get Josh, on your, you my get on cousin, your, Noah, Thomas, Tom. You get on your bicycle, and then you like ride 15 miles. Yeah, like I did today? Yeah. Okay, well. Make sure you, like, go out and do stuff the next week. Where am I painting? Here. I'm accepting your competition. Okay. <laughs> Chaz sent the smug Chaz emote. I'm accepting your competition, but I do want you to know that I'm not happy about it. Uh-huh. Anyway, it starts tomorrow. It does. So if you don't have an Apple Watch or an iPhone, because iPhone does at least the pink ring, the stand step ring, um, there's three rings for exercise. One is like calories, like just pure calories, and it counts it based on like how much you walk in a day. And then the other one is stand, and the other one is like exercise on the watch. So you can get up to 600 points. So theoretically, we could both do perfect and tie. So I went for a very long bike ride today. And today doesn't count because I started, I challenged everyone after I did the bike ride. So I don't get today's points except um, I'm just finishing a challenge against Haley. So it, those points go towards that challenge, but I'm pretty sure Haley won that challenge. Where am I? Over here. 
So these guys here kind of sit different than these ones do. <laughs> Noah says it's actually a horrible week for me to do this challenge. I'm sorry, Noah. You could have declined. We could have done it next week. But you accepted, so now you have to do it. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with this. It looks weird right now. I want to rotate it for this part because these like kind of fall down this way. Because these ones just look different here. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is all of this green here. And there's some more of these, like these trees that have only very few leaves on them in this area. So those will get done eventually. Also, I'm glad that I continued to do the same color all the way around the canvas instead of like finishing up this part because as weird as this part looks, um, I, I know how I paint. I will change my technique somewhere along the line and then it won't look the same. So it's important that I kind of like keep that up. because I'm already starting, starting to do that just a little bit. We have a four month reset from Julia Whites. Thank you.
Renee says, I should be using our rowing machine before it gets too hot to be in the garage. I was talking to uh, Nick, who is one of Josh's mods the other day. And I was like, once it gets to be 80, I won't be able to go out. Cause it's gonna get 80 in the morning sometimes. And then I won't be able to go out even in the morning. But those are days I will be playing DDR. Or maybe I'll get a gym membership. Or I'll go to the pool. Cause I do like swimming. 80 and humid? Yeah. That's the Southeast. The other day it was like 75 and humid and I was texting Thomas and telling him how upset I was that I was biking and it was 80 and humid. losing where I am in this. See, I drew this. Why? <laughs> what was I thinking? One, two, slope down. Okay. This does get that. And we will just fade it into the rest of it. This looks weird. <laughs> I think I really started to figure out once I got here and this part looks strange. So let's fix this a little bit. And like I said, the, the other colors will help this.
Okay, happy with that. I need to stand up and take a quick look at it and then also probably do a zoom in while I'm up so you can see it. Spy Moose says, everyone think Willis Carrier, the guy who invented modern air conditioning. Whew. Yeah. I would not survive Southeast summers without air conditioning. Light Rock says, how's it going tonight? It's going good. I've had a good day. I had a great yesterday. I had a great today. All right. I'm going to stand up and take a look at this from back here so I don't have the glare that I get. Because I get a really bad glare. Oh my god. Sometimes this chair comes unhooked and I lean back and the whole thing goes and it terrifies me. Because I'm not used to it. All right, I'm going to stand up and take a look. And then I'm also going to do a zoom in for you guys. All right, so there's the moon. So you can see like some of the detail on the various leaves, just trying to tap it in. You can see the red there. And then if we move up, you can see red tree. You can see like some of just the individual leaves over here. So we're just going to keep building all of those layers. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. And there's a little bit I think I want to do with a green between this green and like the darker green, just to kind of do a little bit more blending in some areas, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. But I have that saved on the palette and I have that in my sketchbook here where we've been testing all of our various greens. So we're going through it, we're getting there. So I'm gonna do a shout out to my patrons. Thank you all for your support over on patreon.com. If you're interested in that and the perks that come with it, you can check out the link from Renee who sent the auto chess link. Thank you. And we also have a discord. That's one of the perks. Our discord is a cool place to hang out. There's a lot of cool people there. Otherwise, things coming up. Um, it's Monday, so tomorrow is my favorite stream day, after painting, of course, um, where we stream Moon. We're starting off with breakfast stream in the morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, and then um, at 1 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be playing Moon RPG. We're like just around halfway, I think. I forgot, what did we do last time? Did we get into, we're still in Valley of the Winds. So we're gonna finish up Valley of the Winds, um, we get to meet one of my favorite characters, and then we're gonna go into Tropical Fields. So I'm very excited. We're getting to see some of the final areas, not final game stuff, but like some of the, to finish off the map a little bit more. So I'm excited about that. We may figure out what the chloroform is used for this week. Depends how far we get. Um, otherwise, Tomorrow night is disc only over on Proton John's channel that is going on over there with normal people, normal guests, normal time, whatever time that is. <laughs> I don't know, that's not my stream at all. Um, I'm not 100% sure when Starfield was happening this week, but it's happening. Thursday's breakfast stream in the morning, and then we have Twilight Princess, um, not Twilight Princess, oh my god, Tears of the Kingdom Friday night. <laughs> normal guest. It's it's whatever disc only like should be. Like it's the four of them. It's a regular episode, as far as I know. <laughs> You're playing Twilight Princess again, yay! <sighs> Maybe for fun for myself. John said there's a guest this week. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> I don't know. I am not in that Discord chat. It's the five of them, the four of them and Dan. That's as much as I know. And then next week, 
Let me look at my calendar so I can give you like a slightly maybe better idea of when I might stream next week. Yeah, next week does not look ridiculous. So Monday might work again. So I'm probably thinking Monday next week. And if it's not gonna be Monday, it'd be Wednesday, I think, but I'm pretty sure it would be Monday. Guest confirmed by John and Tom. I did not know that. Does Steven know that? Maybe. Otherwise, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to work more on this next week. More light greens into some of our final colors. Probably bring some of that red back into here. And I think that's all. So I hope you join us tomorrow for breakfast stream and moon because I'm very excited about moon. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. And I think that's all. Thanks everyone for tuning in and hanging out with me while I paint more leaves. More leaves next week. <laughs> Hope to see you then. Bye. Oh my God, I forgot to raid. <laughs> Thanks, Vosix. <Fossix. laughs> oh, Masse is streaming. Is Masse still streaming? I was told Masse was going to stream tonight. Masse is still streaming, yes. We're gonna raid Masse. Um, let's tell Masse leaf paint. Paint leaves. Paint lots of leaves. We'll tell Masse that. All right, I have another 15 second ad, but then I'll send you, or Chaz will send you. All right, there we go. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I will see you next week for painting and tomorrow for moon. Bye, everyone. Does Masay not have alerts on? <laughs> there we go. Hi Masay, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Zen mode, yeah, you could call it Zen mode, Masay. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow.